Hello everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, it's late in the afternoon and I just finished my newspaper work and I'm going to pick it to pick up my check. And we're gonna do a let sold video. So I do have the back cut and ready for the client piece that we've got in there, um, which it has to be sanded and given like a light coat of black over the top. I'm not gonna perfectly paint it. It's just gonna be rustic back there. <laughs> Heck no, I'm not gonna go through any kind of effort on that. But I have that to do. I don't know if I'll get it done tonight. Um, I, I have to, I have to get my money. So we're going to do that instead. So I'm going to fly all the way across the state and go do that. I know you will all be shocked to figure this out, but, um, I don't have my key. So... I'm gonna have to run home, get a key and run back. Cause I'm like, oh crap. And it's getting dark and the deer are running. And, 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 and I could sit here and wait for someone to show up but hope that somebody needs to pick up their check. That ain't gonna happen because I'm, I'm hoping somebody would be here. Oh well. Guess I'm going home. All right, I got the key. Off we go, back out on the freaking road. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. I gotta collect a rack and I'm not gonna come home again. I'm going to go directly to pick up my kid. So, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm back in the she shop. And since you guys like the what sold videos, yeah. So I got all the way home, found my keys to pick a fence. On my way out, a deer runs right out in front of me. And she wasn't even looking. Like she didn't look at me. She didn't slow down. She didn't react at all to the fact that I was there. I had a stressful evening. But I got the kid out home. I got the stuff, picked up the check. <sighs> Y'all. But you guys seem to like the what sold video. So we are going to do... Hmm. So we're going to do what sold. These are the cash transactions first. The very first thing I come upon is blue ornament. I broke this at checkout. $7. I don't remember. I don't remember what that blue ornament was or why it was $7. <sighs> but I'm guessing it was pretty special for $7 because the rest of my ornaments are like four and three. Probably one of the, the atomic shiny brights. I'm going to be sad about that. Okay, another ornament, $4. The large red bell. We knew that sold. That was on top of the lockers. That's gone. Votive, $8. I don't even remember putting a votive in there. The Nat King Cole Christmas record sold. Could be a handwritten tag sold on Wednesday. They found the tag. And not the album. So, either it sold, or it was stolen. <laughs> So they paid me either way. Uh, purple ornaments. That is the bag. Oh, the blue. Was it ornaments? Because this is a bag of blue, of purple ornaments for seven dollars, which would make more sense that it was a bag of them. They broke a the whole bag. 
Okay. The Gnomes Tea Cozy, $12. I got that at the garage sale for 50 cents. Remember? That was one of the last garage sales of the All City Sale. Super hot that day. We were tired. It was like the last sale out in the middle of nowhere. 50 cents. 12 bucks. So I made $11.50. Uh, the red and gold vase finally sold. So that's been in there a while, but, you know, I figured it kind of had a Christmas color scheme going on. So leave it in. Um, red ornaments, $7. A magnet, call me normal. Insult me magnet. A cup of care magnet. I told you I made my rental magnet. Ornament, $3. Ornament, $4. Red truck ornament, $7. Those were from last year. They were the metal red truck ornaments that I had last year that I popped in there. And I had a few left. Put them up there. Ornament, $3. Shiny Brights. They sold on the last day of the sale for a discount. So instead of $28, they got them for $25.20. Well, didn't they get a bargain and a half? I should have put firm on the shiny brights. Um, because I know I could get them. I could get a better price than that online. Okay, these are all the credit card charges. So this, I pay the credit card fee on all of these. So two ornaments at $4 a piece. The Swedish Straw Angel was $10. Enough Coffee Magnet, $5. The Yukon Cornelius decor, that was the outdoor yard decor, $28. Good God. Just went right into the garbage. Oh. Um, the Anna Lee Elf, $8. That was the $1 elf that I got at the garage sale this year. Vintage Snow, the Mica Snow, $9. $4 ornament. I don't know what this was. Gold ornaments, it says. $7. Must have been a bag. Ornament, $4. Ornament times three, $4. So $12 times three. Math. Math. Uh, the Santa metal sign, 18 Sorry, Ray. I know you really wanted it. They have it on Amazon Smaller. It's not as big as mine, but it they have one. It's cute. Um, the large cross, $8. That was in my entryway for years. Years. I had the <laughs> cross in my entryway. <laughs> Got my use out of it. And I marked it up, moved it on. Um, two pieces of the Rudolph train were $68. And then the Clarice Christmas decor, $28. That's the rest of that yard decor that we got. It was $5, $5, $5 at the garage sale this summer. A happy day. Ornament, ornament, $4, $4. Four ornaments at $4.16. Craft kit, $5. Telling you. When I bought those craft kits, they were like 50 cents a piece and they were unopened. People love craft kits. Five bucks for a craft kit that I paid 50 cents for. The other Annalie Elf sold. Again, it was one dollar. Uh, reading workout magnet, five dollars. Candlesticks, fourteen dollars. <laughs> there was some candlestick people. <laughs> I don't even know. You can tell I should probably write a better description on my tags. Because I'm like, I, I don't know. Candlesticks. Okay. Um, dragonfly magnet. Oh, those are so pretty. Those watercolor dragonfly magnets. Um, two magnets. Algebra and cuss words. So the cuss words where you call them cuss words, I call it sentence enhancers. And the algebra says, another day has passed and I not used algebra. So $10 for those. Uh, Midnight Clear Primitive Wall Hanging. That has been in my garage for far too long. I bought it 
year before last. Or was it right before the pandemic lockdown? And then it got like stashed in, in my garage. And I kept seeing it and thinking, oh, I got to get it in. And then last year, I didn't get it in. And it was only like $2 on it. <laughs> this year, I was like, it's going in. I don't even care if it doesn't look right. It's going in. I'm tired of looking at that damn thing. And it's sold. Can't sell if it's not in. The Jesus I Saw That Magnet. The Be Happy Magnet, $5. The Gwen Stefani Christmas Album, $10 sold. I bought all of those albums. They're new, still sealed up um, at the 70% off at Cartful of Savings. So they were... They were already discounted at Target, and then they were 70% off that price up here at Cartful of Savings. I bought them, and I marked them up, moved them on. The Talking Elf on a Shelf. <laughs> that thing was so creepy. I got it at the All City Sale. Like, most of this stuff I loaded up on on the All City Sale. $6. I paid 50 cents for them. I know, because he still had the tag on him. Uh, the Santa Cup, $5. That's one of those mini Santa Cups. Ornament, $4. Ornament, $4. The Nora Jones. Uh, oh, the rest of the album sold. The Pistol Annie's and Nora Jones Christmas album sold. $10, $10. Um, yeah, again, I got them 70% off at the Curb of Saving. Ornament, $3. The other Santa Cup sold. The other little mini Santa Cup sold for $5. Jesus Magnet, $4. Lottery magnet, $5. Three brass candlesticks, $22. I saw the woman walk out with those, and it was so funny because she was there with her boyfriend or fiance or whatever. I don't know. They weren't married, but um, she had these three brass candlesticks, and she was looking them up online, and I was like, I already know they're a good price compared to what you can get for them online. So she's looking them up, and she shows him her phone, and he goes, just get them, just get them. Like, they're... Like, we're the stupidest people on the planet. We have no idea what this stuff would go for. I'm like, yeah, I know. You got a deal. You should be happy. <laughs> but just remember, I paid even less. <laughs> I put a little elbow grease into cleaning those three brass candlesticks up. Um, and then the two brass lanterns that I paid $2 a piece for that were super dirty and icky. With the bugs in them and the wax all over the inside. Ugh, that was a lot of elbow grease. That wasn't a little elbow grease. That was a lot because the brass had to be cleaned. The inside glass had to be scraped out. It was just... Ugh. I'm just a glorified cleaning lady. Candle with berries, $4. That was a $1 purchase at a garage sale this summer. All city sale. Still had the tag on it. Blow Mold Santa. Oh, last day of the sale, $20.70. That was, I've had that a while. That's been a couple Christmases in there. It was just the head, the Blow Mold Santa head that hangs on the window. It's got a little suction cup. I hung him up, lit him up. He was in the basket, and then we moved him to the wall, remember? Mm -hmm. Um, two ornaments on the last day of the sale, $6.30 for both. Got a good deal there. Glittered pine cone ornaments, $5.40. So these were, um, blue glittered pine cones that I was going to do something with. I have no idea. I found them in a bag and I went, I don't feel like doing anything with them anymore. So I rebagged them in one of my cellophane bags. And we put a price tag on them. <laughs> it was higher than what I paid for them. So I'm happy. Um, and the last day of the sale, one of the rolling pins sold. So it was $10.80 for the $12 rolling pin. The House of Lloyd windmill sold on the last day of the sale. It was $39. Um, $35.10. I think I paid $2 for it at a garage sale. Two or four. I'm trying to remember. May have to go back and look at an old video. Two or four. 
um, large red bow, $5. Okay. That bow has been in there a while too. So a couple of years ago, I want to say pre pandemic, I got, um, a bin, like a woman, she, her, her husband that she had divorced years prior to him dying, died and left her in charge of his estate. So it was this like 128 gallon bin full of Christmas stuff. And she sold it to me for 10 bucks. That bow was one of them. That bow was in there. And it was the last of the big giant bows that I had. So it's good to see it go. I paid $10 for the whole bin full of stuff. I've more than made my money back on, but this was $4 and 50 cents. So cup of Christmas tea, salt, pepper shakers and cup of Christmas tea, teacup sold. And it looks like on the last day of the sale, $22.50. feel like that's not everything. I feel like I'm missing some tags. Um, Hmm. I'm going to have to go look at my booth and see, because I feel like there's some stuff missing that I don't have a payment for. And it could be that I'll hear from a vendor in the next few days that says, you know, I got one of your pieces and one of your tags and mine. So we'll see. But anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.